Thank you, Cancorla, and it's very good to see you back. And I will too wish to commend the Minister on her work on this on the Social Welfare Bill, the largest um, package uh, in the history of the state, and it comes at a most important time where families are facing difficulties with fuel uh, challenges, with fuel price challenges, and the cost of living price challenges generally. And I want to commend the Minister for her structure in relation to the bill, recognising that these changes would take effect from January and front-loading direct cash payments, lump sum payments, to families who need it most at this time of the year when heating bills are going up, when heating is going back on and heating bills are going up, and to commend the structure of that and note that no, the approach wasn't adopted, unfortunately, by, by critics of the government, by Sinn Féin and critics of the government, and that this is the exact right approach to get money to people when they need it in the me to, through the mechanisms that are there. I want to particularly compliment the Minister for her focus on working families, uh, an exceptionally important group who are between the changes to tax in the finance bill and the extension of the um, threshold for the working family payment, which I think is, is, is a really important change, supporting families at work under pressure. And note again that Sinn Féin took no such approach to support working families in the same way which is so disappointing because it's something that I think should be supported right across the House. And the Minister is aware of the number of times I've raised with her the changes that we've wanted to see to the domiciliary care allowance in terms of its extension and thank the Minister again for her work on that. And note also that she's managed to introduce the first increase since 2009, bringing it up to 330 a month. And again, that comes on the back of last year's good progress in relation to carers, where there was the first really significant extension to the th income thresholds for that and the savings disregard for that for 14 years. And these are exactly the sort of values that I want to see reflected in this House. Support for carers and families who need it most with a child or an elderly person who, who needs extra care, a child with a disability, people who have, I met one lady in Shankill last week who has given up her working life and to, for a different life caring for her child, who is afraid that the, the increases to the carers will go someday and that is her big worry keeping her awake at night. And I tried to explain to her the approach in Fine Gael and the Dura approach about extending and protecting eligibility, extending eligibility and protecting people in that group. It's so, so very important. Um I also want to uh, really highlight the work around the over 70s, the extension to the fuel allowance generally, but the over 70s, so many in my constituency are living in houses that have been paid for, but people, because there aren't other places for them to move to, are living in houses they can't necessarily afford to heat. And, you know, and there's, and, and there's no um, discrimination, you, you know, that, that, that can come to any house at any time. And I think the extension that you've made, particularly for the over 70s, is a really, again, state, important statement of values for those whom we will not let get cold this winter or indeed any winter. I think these are really important changes that you've introduced uh, and I, I commend your work on it and your constant focus on eradicating poverty and devoting resources to those who genuinely need it most. Thank you.